Zoom. It's the popular video conferencing app and the reason why one corner of your house is so clean. And now, an animal sanctuary in California has announced a new service where they'll be renting out their animals to appear in your Zoom meetings. Yeah, you can pay anywhere from $65 to $100, and then you can have a goat, a llama, a cow, a pig, or a turkey make a surprise appearance on your Zoom call, which is all fun and games until the goat outperforms you in your meeting. I'm sorry to tell you, James, but Scruffy really had some great ideas and blew you out of the water, so uh, <laughs> you're fired. But on the real, though, this is a really novel idea. Because, I mean, usually, the only animals we have on calls at our company is Craig from IT. Close your mouth when you eat, Craig. We can see you. It's a camera. Oh, a little advice, though. If you are gonna Zoom with animals, please, remember to be sensitive to your new coworkers because otherwise, things could get really awkward. So to sum up, great job all around team. I think we're gonna land the Henderson account. You excuse me real quick. I'm gonna take a quick bite of my burger. Wow. Wow, really? What? You're just gonna eat that burger right in front of me? That's my bad. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry about that. That could be my uncle, man. How would you feel if I just started eating your granddad on a Zoom call? I, I do not know what to say other than I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for that. <laughs> man, I'm just playing with it. It's cool. I eat a burger every now and then, too. <laughs> oh, you had me going, man, for a second. I thought... Wait, you what? <laughs> I love cows. Now, insulting animals isn't the only thing you can do online these days. Andrew Cuomo, the only governor in America who can pull off a tracksuit, has signed an executive order allowing New York couples to get their marriage licenses online. And he's authorized clerks to perform wedding ceremonies over video. Now look, if you ask me, I don't think anyone, I don't think any one of us should be making any big life decisions during quarantine, okay? No one. Your concept of love is totally skewed right now. You can trust me on this. I spent most of last week in a relationship with a bottle of Purell. I mean, think about it. You're locked up with one person for so long, you're probably gonna forget other people exist. Yeah, you'll be like, you're the best guy in the world. Let's get married. And then you're gonna take one walk and you'll be like, what have I done? <laughs> Basically, any marriage during quarantine should have the same store policy as Best Buy. If I'm not happy with the product after three months, I can return it or at least make an exchange. All right, and finally, a heartwarming story out of Massachusetts. A chain of hospitals there has started a new tradition called a Code Rocky. And what that means is whenever a patient is discharged, after being successfully treated for COVID-19, all available staff reports to the lobby and they applaud the patient while they play them the theme song from the Rocky movies. And I don't care what anyone says, this is so great. Can you imagine they play the Rocky music? You know, it's such an inspirational tune when you're getting out of the hospital, getting back into life. And then I'm assuming when, when you get your bill, they play you the theme from Jaws. How much? You gotta be careful with that music though. Cause that Rocky music really gets people going. I mean, what if you play it for the patient and it ends up pumping up the coronavirus instead? I was about to throw in the towel, but that music makes me believe I can do it. It's time for the second wave. Ba -ba -ba.